Greetings, family. Greetings, family. My name is Brother Adinkra. This week we're going to be doing um, the reading on Leo. So we're going to see what the uh, dwarf have to say about the Leo energy. What kind of uh, energy is around Leo? Okay. Let's get into the, I guess we'll get into the male aspect. What what I see with the male energy this week is don't cause yourself your own, you could be your own worst enemy this week. So kind of watch what you do and watch what you say this week, Leo. Uh, be mindful of the things you speak to other people and the things you say, especially to the feminine energy. Because what I'm seeing is the feminine energy, which is right here, and the male is right here. Y'all going to be distant, support, and and the way y'all communicate and what y'all um, agree on. So kind of be be mindful of that. I do see um, you may have some enemies trying to throw magic on you. Or there, if that's not the case, then you have magic around you since so you got the energy. So be mindful of that. Um, also, um, it's showing me money, money, money. Money may be um, kind of slow for you this week. Or money seems like it's just at a standstill, but um, don't worry because what I'm seeing is it's uh, going to come, but it's just slow for everybody right now. So, um, Leo, keep that in mind. Also, with the feminine energy, watch what you say and how you treat people this week because what I'm seeing is you can be at odds with the feminine energy, but there is a chance for you to balance that out as long as you treat them right this week. Um, you have to um, be mindful of... of your enemies, because I do see you. You, you do have some uh, enemies around, around you. You have uh, around you. You have uh, people that may not want you to um, do well in life. I just I see the. I see the feminine energy is going spiritual changes, but physical changes as well. I see enemies around you. For the feminine energy. So the feminine energy is in need of protection. I'm also seeing that the feminine energy has to be a, be um, be mindful of. Um, People that uh, want to use you or trick you, uh, trick you into something or, or misguide you or mislead you into something. Um, with all of that going on, Leo, I do see that there's still um, optimism or optimism around you that you can be, that you still have a good um, spirit about you. So keep that keep that uh, type of attitude and that type of spirit going. Just don't let people um, pull on your energy too much, whether you're male or female this um, week. Both Leo, male and female, I see that you need to um, incorporate listening to some um, the African drumming beats or the binary frequencies. You got to get a bunch of them. Some are for healing, some are for uh, clearing your mind, some are for different things. For but, those of you who don't know how to find those frequencies or those beats, you can actually find them on um, YouTube. They have a bunch of them. They have a whole bunch of them. Some are for healing, some are for uh, clearing your mind, some are for different things but um overall i see that this 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 week is more about being more balanced than anything for you uh leo so going forward within this this week and then on into next week try to be more balanced i'm also seeing that both leo male and female y'all need to um incorporate more greens in your diet um and and um more herbs Try to focus this this week, Taurus, and more more along not just this week, but for the year. Just for the year, just just try to focus on eating right and um, cleaning up your health. Um, also, I see Leo that you have to concentrate more on your spirituality. The ancestors are calling you. The, an the ancestors are calling you. The ancestors are calling you. Balance for. Male and female this this week um, for the Leo. Also, uh, this right here is just saying be mindful of what you say to people as far as the information that you give them. Don't give your enemies too much because I, see, I just see, especially for the feminine energy, that you have a lot of, you have a lot of enemies around. You got a lot of enemies that, 
that is just waiting for you to mess up or something. I don't know. I'm picking up more of this is this is like enemies in the workplace, Leo. So just keep that in mind. Just watch what you say to people and watch the information you give to people. But overall, just remember to be balanced and don't let anybody trick you out of um, anything or manipulate you into anything that you don't want to do. So that is the. Okay, family. Um, I'm going to pull three cards just to see what else I see with the Leo energy, okay? Let's get a yeah, good shuffle. Family, let's get a good shuffle in. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh. Okay, family. The first card we got is the hangman. Hangman in reverse, which is interesting because this is telling me that Leo, um, you're almost ready to throw in a towel. It feels like it's it's it almost seems like um, you're not uh, happy with what you're seeing around you. You're not happy with the, the effort that you're giving and the uh, your return that you're receiving. Um, what Spirit is saying that you need to focus more on doing, getting into the spiritual aspect of what it is that you want to create for yourself. Leo, you just need to move forward in life and just and keep pushing forward because life has something good for you. The ancestors have something good for you. You just need to believe in yourself and move forward. But you also need a spiritual cleansing before you make that decision. And then you need to focus, meditate, or if you pray, you need to pray about it and then move forward to it. Okay, family, uh, the next card is the Two of Swords. The two of swords, and you can see, as you can see, the two of swords, the uh, crow is blindfolded, right? And it's sitting on two swords. But what, it, what, what, when this card comes up, it's saying that um, you got to move forward, even though you don't know what's going to happen. You may not be able to see what's going to happen. It's coming from something that you need to do that you're scared to do, Leo, but you got to make this decision for yourself and you got to move forward. Okay, so, family. The next card we have is the hermit. The hermit, as you can see, the hermit is sitting on a branch and he's contemplating what he's going to do next. But the hermit, um, the crow, in this sense, the crow in this sense represents the subconscious mind and that you need to, um, it's time for you to grow because you have the knowledge and wisdom to move forward. So basically this card, this last card is just saying you have the knowledge that you need and you just need to move forward and pursue your goals and it's also talking it's also talking about um, cleansing yourself off spiritually and now it's time to make a decision to move forward with your life do you cleanse pray about it and meditate it meditate on it and move forward okay that's the end of your spiritual readings for this week